Namaste students welcome back to win maths in this video we are going to study one of the activity on large numbers in this activity we will find five place values which are jumbled using those five place values we have to form the number after forming the number we have to search the form number in the given set of a grid let's take the activity here is the description of a activity in the boxes given below five numbers are given in which the place values are written in jumbled form correct the order and write the number along with that and circle this number in the big grid so as you can see in this activity they is to give the place values jumbled like this using these place values we have to form the number after forming that number we have to search the given number in that big grid and we have to encircle here are the five place values which are jumbled at and here so using these place values we have to form the number and we will search the number in that big grid so let's take the first one so here is the given grid in this given grid we will find hidden numbers in this so we will first form the number then we will search the hidden numbers in this big grid so here is the first jumbled set of our place values so that is Three tens, nine ones, six thousands, and five hundreds. Using these four place values, we have to form the number. So because of that, I will write all the given place values starting from lowest place to highest place. If I write at and here, lowest place name is ones, and highest place name is thousands. Because of that, I will write the place names. starting from ones as a o t as a tens h as a hundred and th as a thousands we covered from lowest place to highest place now we will form the number using given the place values so first they are given three tens because of that we have to write this three in the tens place next they are given Nine ones, so this digit nine will come in ones place. After that, six thousands, which means this digit six will come in thousands place. So I wrote six in the thousands place. And last is five hundred, so this five will come in this hundreds place. After arranging this, all the jumbled place values, the formed number is. Six thousand five hundred thirty-nine. Now we have to search this number in this grid. So first we will look at the starting digit six. So six is here. So we will search the vertical, horizontal as well as diagonal. First we will take the six. Using the six, we don't have the number six thousand five hundred thirty-nine horizontal, vertical. But when we see this six with diagonally, we will find the number. So because of that, this is the number which we have to circle. So that is six thousand five hundred thirty-nine. This six thousand five hundred thirty-nine we got it diagonally. So this we will make a circle. So this is the required first jumbled number. same way we will take the next problem and we will form the number and we will search it in the big grid so given jumbled place values are 2 ones 3 hundreds 5 thousands 6 tens so here also highest place is thousands lowest place is ones since i will write all the places from ones to thousands so if i write this i will get the place names as ones tens hundred and thousand 
Now I will take each place values and I will write digits according to place name. Two ones. So because of that, I will write two in the ones place. Next is three hundreds. So because of that, I will write three in the hundreds place. After that, we have the five thousands, which means five in the thousands place. And last, we have six tens, which means six in the tens place. After arranging this, all the things in proper way, we got the number as five thousand three hundred sixty-two. Now we have to search this number. So first we will look at the digit five and we will search horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. So five is here. If I search horizontally, no number. If I search vertically, also I will not get the number five thousand three hundred sixty-two. And again, if I search diagonally, also I will not get the five thousand three hundred sixty-two. So using this digit five, we can't form the number. Next, I will look at the and the five so if i look at the next digit five is here if i see horizontally there we will not get 5362 if i search vertically again i will not get it but uh, again we have to search diagonally not getting the number so i will skip this five same way i will look at this number five If I look at this number, we have five thousand one hundred twenty-three horizontally, five thousand three hundred eighty-five vertically, diagonally five thousand seven hundred seventy-one. So, which is also not required. So, we'll cancel it. Next, we will move to the this digit five. So, we will look at horizontally. It's not there. If we look at vertically. Again, it is not there. Then diagonally also we don't have. After this, we we'll look at the digit five here. Again, horizontally not there. Vertically not there. And if we take diagonally also, it's not there. After that, we have five here. If you look at this five, again horizontal not there. Vertically also not there. And if you look at the diagonal, it's not there. After that, we have one more phi here, which is not possible. And this phi, if we consider, let's take it and see. So horizontally, we will check it's not there. Then we will check the vertically again, it is not there. And when we check diagonally, here we got the five thousand three hundred sixty-two. This we have to encircle. Let's do the last problem on this. Here is the jumbled place values. So highest place is thousand, lowest place is ones. So we have to write the place names from ones to thousands. Those are ones, tens, hundred, thousand. After this, we will form the number using the given place values. So nine thousands. So because of that, this nine will come in the thousands place. Next is eight ones. This digit eight will come in ones place, so that I will write in the ones place. After that, we have seven tens, which means seven in this tens place. Last, we have three hundred, so this digit three will come in the hundreds place. After rearranging this all the place values, we got a number nine thousand. Three hundred seventy-eight. Now we will search this one in the grid. So first digit itself is a nine. If we check this one horizontally, we will not get. Vertically also we will not get. And even diagonally also we can't get from this nine. Next digit is nine here. Horizontally not possible. Vertically also not there. Diagonally also not there. Next nine is at here. If you look at this, so vertically it's not there, but if you look at the horizontal, we got the required number that is nine thousand three hundred seventy-eight. This we have to circle. These are the three numbers we searched using the given jumbled place values. Same way, remaining two, you practice it yourself. 
and last thank you for watching the videos god bless you all